gentlemen, here we go. The Wait, final three minutes. Wait, glove on. If you've got this, oh, leave it the other hand. I'm running. I'm out of here, brother. <laughs> Introducing the fighters, making their way out for your next contest. First, wait. To the red corner, this is Keaton Turmel. All right, Keaton Turmel coming to us, and uh, we've seen uh, someone from the White Elephant Fight Club fight already, and Andrew Brissner came in, goes a million miles an hour, so Keaton Turmel is coming in. We had a chance to see him, but he faced Jamie Espinoza, which is, I mean, you're taking on so much when you're facing Jamie. But he said he learned a lot from that. I mean, he's a strong guy. He's he's a former speed skater and a four-time state champion. So, you know, you know they have that base, you know, that strength in their legs, their glutes. They're just unbelievable. But, um, you you're know. You're absolutely right, though, looking into Jamie Espinoza. It's not, it's not a, a fun day. day. It's, a, you know. <laughs> it's not one of those days you want to have. Yeah, there's there's a point where the traditional Muay Thai shorts go a little bit over. <laughs> Pete switching up the uni as the announcer. Going with the red. And his opponent making his way over to the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Raleigh King the second. All right, yeah, Raleigh. He's five foot, uh, five foot ten and a half. He, uh, he enjoys long walks on the beach, dogs, and uh, you, you can, can find hit him on, up on Facebook. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Riley King, the second. We saw his brother fight earlier. Brother coming in with a lot of skill, but not the cardio. And I spoke to Riley. I said, you know, you got to get your brother on the cardio. He, he would have come up so much crisper and actually could have pulled up the wind. And he said, I know I've been telling him he's hard headed, but he's the older brother, right? And he doesn't think the younger brother will listen. They've been fighting since they were young, young kids, each other, he said. And when he asked if uh, his younger brother ever got the better of him, he immediately responded. No way, not even until today. So we need to see those family pictures start circulating to verify this or... Uh, but Riley, uh, he's just like his brother says, you know, he's independent. He just trains himself. He went to a couple classes that... You know, here and also at Courageous MMA, but uh, basically just took a little bit from them and maybe you should try spending the night at the Holiday Inn Express. Maybe that, uh, do you have those commercials in Canada? Right? The Holiday Inn Express. I, no, I, well, the guy we winds do. up, he's doing something like running a nuclear power plant. Like, oh, when did you start? Oh, I don't work here, but I did spend the night at the Holiday Inn Express. <laughs> <laughs> And here we go, fight fans. The following mixed martial arts contest is being brought to you by AnnMillerEffects.com. Introducing your fighters. First, fighting out of the red corner. Wearing black trucks, trimmed in gold. Standing 5 feet 7 inches tall, he weighed in at 157 pounds. He represents Team White Elephant. Coming to the cage with a record of 10 wins and 6 losses. Fighting out of Bay City, Michigan. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Keaton Turmel! His opponent across the cage, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing white trunks, trimmed in gray. Standing 6 feet 2 inches tall, he weighed in at 155 pounds. He's a Muay Thai specialist with Michigan Extreme Combat Sports. He brings with him to the cage a perfect record of six wins and no losses, with one win coming by way of submission and one big win coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of and representing Westland, Michigan, ladies and gentlemen, here is Raleigh Cosmo! Putting right, his fight. undefeated record on the line, and you know, definitely with the height advantage, as we see for fight fans here out of the red corner, we have Keaton Trumel in the Muay Thai shorts and in the white compression. That's where we have Ray Riley King. In a here we go, coming out of that southpaw stance is Keaton Trumel. Well, from what we've seen of Trumel in the past, he likes to push the pace, and he likes to close the gap, get in there. And you know, hopefully we can see Keaton, uh, uh, King, sorry, uh, lose his range. 
Well, he tried, you know, he's very squirrely, but he just get, getting the better of him is Keaton Trammell here. Well, I think that arm is tied off here. If he, if he can stay, keep that arm in tight, now he's King able to turn sideways here. Well, Keaton Trammell, like, with her, he's got a record of 10 6, but he may have faced the tougher opponents than Riley Hughes coming to us for 6 0. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Because Raleigh looks, you know, he's he's doing what he can with athleticism, but he's got to recover that arm. If he doesn't recover that arm, he's going to wind up not making it out of the first round. And now he, he tried to get cute. He, he's probably gotten away with that version of that sweep. Well, this is not where King wants to be. I mean, he spoke of highly of his boy Tassie. He likes to keep it standing. So, I mean, him to be on the ground with King is not where he wants to be and, and probably very ineffective. And Keaton, on the other hand, needs to quit worrying about passing in a full mount, and he needs to start dropping some leather. He won't have to wrestle this hand. He's not going to finish it with his left arm up in the air like that. First comes position, then isolation and technique, and his positioning was all out of whack. He may have a better opportunity to hit it right now, but Raleigh needs to just keep circling to his right, and he's out of danger. And now he's got the advantage. But again, that, taking no time to separate, Kira. That little hammer fist, it, okay, it scored, but it did no damage. King turned out in a lot, a lot of trouble right now if but, Raleigh can post up. Right, and really King just likes to throw leather, so he, this is an ideal position for him. He's, well, he's in a great spot to do it right now. Termel needed to bridge oh, and then... isolating that arm is going to look to drop the leather. It's actually going to make the escape easier, but it's going to set up a triangle on the turn. When, when you sit across your opponent's arm like that, you let you bring all his pectoral muscles into play, and he can get enough space to turn on you. Look at the length of limbs on <laughs> Riley, though. You know, six foot two. And Termel taps oh, no hooks in. Wow, I expected so much more in this fight, Kara. Well, you know what's you know what's scary about you know that quick tap is he's coming off that loss to Jamie Espinosa. If you get in that habit of quitting, and if you get in that habit of just tapping and saying, "Let me get out of this," it's not a sparring session. This is this is a fight. Well, he's gonna go watch that fight and just be mortified. No hooks. All he had to do was tuck in on that elbow and just drive his hips into the air and he would have come out in side control. You know what, and, and again, this for King's record, he moves to 7-0 and as an undefeated fighter and I don't know if it's really indicative, you know, of, of a skill level. Fighter. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for both of the fighters in this cage. Your Two minutes, 20 seconds of the first round for your winner by rear-naked choke submission, Raleigh All right, Raleigh, congratulations, brother. Quick work, two minutes, 20 seconds. There's your camera right there. See what you got to say to everybody in attendance. Keeping your record now at 7-0 undefeated. First, hey God, my mom passed away. Thank you everybody for being here. Everybody supporting me with this too. Y'all know who y'all is. Make some noise. Thank you everybody for uh, definitely having me. For driving me out to uh, Jackson. It'll be my sister now. Place for everybody and the sponsors and Jackson and Lorraine. Everybody out there, thanks. Support us. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Your winner, Raleigh Cosmo Once again, Kara, God picking the winner. <laughs> Don't even start with that.